me llamo Marcos Vidal y llevo una iniciativa llamada Spice and Mark. Desde hace casi 13 años nuestro objetivo era en principio exponer o dar salida a proyectos que no tuvieran salida en salas comerciales y ahora pues en los últimos años el objetivo, los objetivos es más crear redes uh, con, el, con otros espacios de otros países y con otras iniciativas pues que nos ayuden a, a generar a mostrar nuestros proyectos y también aprender cosas de otros, otras iniciativas de, de otros países. We are here, I'm, I'm here with a group of Armenian artists, also member of ACOS, our organization, because uh, the, the idea of translocalism is uh, very interesting for us. And this is also this is what, uh, uh, in what we are interested in and what we're trying to build this kind of relationship in Armenia back home. And uh, that's mean that's like a location of creating art for artists is not really uh, important like you can choose a base for you and then go uh, to uh, that which is also discovery stage of uh, of creation uh, of of artists so um, th this kind of like project like building networks also like translocal relation um, is uh, in the is, is what we're trying to do and what we di did in the past and what we will do in the future so that's uh, the most important point for us in in between like, like in case of international relation that must be translocal like uh, if this word says anything uh, about the idea this human contact is basically based um, on the uh, on one level in the surrounding in another between cultures because uh, we are I come from Bulgaria but at the moment I'm in Mallorca and uh, I've met with um, um, this network of artists who also organize uh, and um, they're from all over Europe and not only even outside Europe as well so so it really uh, goes beyond just a, a, a particular place and boundary this communication and um, artistic means not only uh, dealing with the um, um, crafts and um, the media that what what, what you use is, is, is why you use it so this this is uh, an important aspect of our meetings and um, I, I really believe that um, this can actually um, influence. Translocal no es más que sencillamente la uh, conexión entre diferentes escenas locales. Ningún grupo y ni ningún colectivo de artistas de, un, de una ciudad o de, de otro lugar aspira a representar a su país porque realmente Eso es casi una cosa un poco absurda, ¿no? Pero sí que representas la escena local, ¿no? De alguna manera vienes y cuentas qué es lo que sucede en tu escena local. Hi, I'm Ken Hay, one half of Moreland Productions with Sita Alakapan. We are based in London and Leeds, and we work on a number of um, projects using different media. We, we like to experiment with uh, different ideas and usually there's a conceptual aspect and a formal aspect. So we're participating in this translocal project, the Mallorcan Translocal Meeting organized by Marcos and I think it's a very relevant idea because in the past maybe artists lived and worked very close to where they were born and nowadays in, in our postmodern world we can have a Chinese breakfast and a Japanese lunch and a, an American dinner so that the whole world is, is very expanded and uh, mobility is one thing that, uh, that artists are affected by and interested in. Um, I think the idea of moving to a different country, learning from that country, um, experiencing the, the sights, the, the tastes of that country is also part of understanding your neighbour. Um, so we're working on projects with our colleague Rachel on 
projects of neighborhoods and, and friendship between nations and friendship between people. And the Translocal meeting, I think, is a very good place to discuss these ideas and develop future projects in each of our different countries. Translocal meeting sale, bueno, a partir de una serie de experiencias y de festivales y otros encuentros similares en los que bueno, he participado, pues finalmente pues te llevan a, es una consecuencia lógica pues a partir de todos esos encuentros para intentar mostrar de alguna manera que que me parecía más interesante, que aprendí, había aprendido yo todo aquello y que podíamos ofrecer para activar un poquito la escena local. I'm Jan Doms. I'm uh, from the Netherlands, living in a city on the south uh, uh, side of the country, near Belgium. I'm uh, working as a sculptor and a, a designer. And I'm the owner of a company together with my daughter and we are specialized in spatial design and research. And I was invited by uh, Marcos Vidal to join the translocal meeting for this year uh, and I made uh, I was very pleased with that invitation because uh, I think it's quite important to meet other artists and also other organizing artists because the organizing part is maybe uh, the first idea to gather. My name is Rochelle Villare-Knowles and I live between Canada and the UK and I have ongoing collaborative relationships with Ken Hay from Moreland Productions and with Mukertic Tonayan from ACOS, the Armenian Art Centre of Social Studies. It's a real pleasure to be here as part of the Translocal meeting, to be able to spend time with collaborators, to develop new relationships, to imagine future possibilities of growing networks between artists in different countries. Um, I've been able to make some site-specific projects here on the theme of the Translocal and also to launch our Neighbours newspaper where we're really looking at ways in which people um, negotiate the very particular relationships of their local thinking within a global context. Durante el mes que han estado aquí los 18 artistas que han, que han venido de, de otros países pues se ha generado un fantástico clima de trabajo, eh, se han desarrollado varios proyectos, tanto en los talleres de aquí de Vinisalem como en los talleres de la Fundación Pilar Joan Miró. A la vez pues también hemos podido realizar tres intervenciones en la Fundación y, y bueno, muchos de los proyectos o de los trabajos pues se, han, se han podido exponer en durante dos semanas aquí en, en Vinisalem. Luego, pues bueno, resaltar pues como la dinámica que se ha generado entre los diferentes grupos, entre las diferentes iniciativas y cómo, bueno, eso realmente es lo que más nos parece más positivo de cara al futuro, ¿no? Y sobre todo lo que cumple más los objetivos de, del meeting. Thank you.